What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their women. Let's get the recording going. Nope, they're still in the opening setup. Perfect. Perfect timing. We got the Necro coached by uh, <laughs> the the Necro is coached by uh, Detox, and the um, Undead are coached by Luminous. So we got an almost mirror match, about as mirror as you can be get without being mirror. <laughs> T E E L A, perfect. That means we have one spot left. Ooh, a perfect defense. Nice. So Maulers get the reline up. Uh, let's see here. Maulers do not have fame. Ooh. The undead Luminous' team gets fame plus two. All right, so let's get our title changed up here because we are doing this um okay maybe I didn't copy it I guess I swore I did there we go and this is match four and it is um, Luminous and Undead versus Detox and Necro. Title is updated. Now let's update the um, Kobe has live left the live now at this. There we go. First hit with a mummy breaks a zombie. Yes, a zombie. Alright, there we go. All done. So now let's get to the cast. <clears throat> Alright, so the undead team carrying three rerolls. 13 man roster with a couple of extra uh, uh, pieces here. We got a skeleton and a zombie. We have both mummies with uh, block. We have a white with guard, a white with tackle. We have a ghoul with wrestle, and we have a ghoul with block. So it looks like we got three ghouls, both whites, both mummies. That's uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Six zombies. Both of these guys should be one zero oh, and two, I believe. I know detox is for sure. I'm guessing that uh, the Rebel Elapse and Arts are 1 and 2 as well. <laughs> now we 
try for the ball pickup. Fails the pickup. Does not use a reroll there. I wouldn't either. There's no way he gets to the ball at this point. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. All right. The neck row. Both uh, flesh golems are at block. He has two whites. One with guard. One is a rookie. He's got a mighty blow wolf. Another mighty blow wolf. And a wrestle ghoul. So it looks like he's got one ghoul, two whites, two wolves, two golems. That's seven. Then he's got a zombie for eight, a zombie for nine, a zombie for ten, a zombie for eleven, and no bench. Three rerolls. Start getting the wolves in the backfield. Do your hit here. Actually, no. Do a blitz here on this tackle white. Push him into the stand firm. Yep. Absolutely. Now you get a hit on the guard here. Oh, and a break. Just a stun, though. Still a break, though. That's good. That takes a guard piece off for another turn at least. One less turn he'll be able to stand up and have guard somewhere. Close us down. Close us down? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Oh, you're talking about the Proving Grounds division? I won't do that until they're all done. You can, If you want to take your team out to put them in the uh, Proving Grounds, you can do that. It isn't going to hurt the league if you take your team out. As long as, every, uh, as, long as you've played your last match, which I'm pretty sure you have, right? If that's what you're wanting to do is to get your team out to put them in the Proving Grounds. Or into uh, Open, I mean, so you can play Open matches. That's not what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're back over to the undead. Let's switch back to their view. Oh, you're in week nine. Okay, you're in the division that's uh, lagging. <clears throat> it's all right. As long as you get your games done here in the next couple of days and we get you to week 10, you'll have week the weekend to get week 10 in, hopefully. Up to next week. We'll get the playoffs started by next weekend. That would be good. <clears throat> Lumen is taking his time here, thinking things out of how he wants to do this. Interesting that he chose to blitz just a zombie there. I guess because he wanted to keep that line intact right there. Makes the pick up this time. <coughs> Makes the go for it. Yeah, now nah, he's got himself caged up. <coughs> Got 
Got himself caged up pretty good. Ooh, a one die. Uses the wrestle. Makes the dodge out there. <coughs> Big dodge out. Surprised he did the dodge out there. I mean, he freezes mummy up now, or his uh, flesh golem. I mean, I might, I might have left him there to let that flesh golem suck that hit up. But yeah, I, I mean, you could absolutely see that coming. He's gonna keep those guys blocked off with those zombies as much as he can. <coughs> kind of surprised he put his guard piece right in there though, where the mummies could hit him. That kind of surprises me a little bit. Oh, I see what he's going to do. Maybe. Yeah, I see what he's going to do. He's going to blitz one of these guys. Yep, absolutely. Bring him there. Yep. Blitz here. Push there. Get a claw hit on the mummy. There's the yellow. Ah, oh, unfortunately, claw doesn't work. Detox has got to be stinging a little bit on that one. He's expecting that Claw Mighty Blow to hurt that mummy right there. Bring this wolf right here. That way if he hits here and follows, you're marked on both wolves. He just liked doing it the way, leaving it the way it was. <laughs> Gets a hit on the zombie there. Oh, and a KO. That's a big block with no mighty blow. Takes the necro down a player now. Interesting. Interesting. No caster has left the server. He's going to give a potential chance here to detox to get a claw blindy blow hit on both of his mummies. Potentially, depending on how this plays out. The question is that detox put the amount of guys forward that it's going to take to get those hits off.
Drawbit has left the server. Huh. And a one die skull there. He re rolls it instantly into a yellow. Oh. Oh, and he breaks. Oh, that was nasty. So two straight up armor nine breaks with no mighty blow for the undead there. That was a pretty good turn for him. Oh, turn over. Dice are not going too well for Detox so far. Oh, he's going to go for the one die sack. Oh, and he rolls the skull. Oh, that's nasty. Had to use that reroll here earlier. I mean, I guess if you're going to do that one die sack, you probably should have done it first, right? Because you're making the dodge anyway. Even if you clear that guy out, you're still making the dodge out here. So maybe if you already know you're going to do that one die sack, you do that first to save your reroll for it. I don't know. P uh, p uh, possible thought there. I think I used stand firm here and make him do the hit with his other guy. Yep, because if you let him push him off, he's just going to push him here and then use him to run to freedom. Oh, jeez. Breaks armor 9 on that one with no mighty blow. Undead's uh, hitting pretty hard this game match so far. Pretty nasty. At least that hit had Mighty Blow. Still, very, very nasty, man. Very, very nasty. Going to keep uh, blocking up up here. No sense in doing anything different at this point. Nice. Wrestle will save him the turn over there.
pushes there. <laughs> Detox has got to be steaming already. His dice have been so bad this whole tournament. He just hasn't been able to buy any luck at all this whole tournament. It has definitely been ugly. It's yellow there. One die yellow at that. That's nice. Hmm. Could do the one die blitz here. Yep, that's what he's going to do. Needs a pal, though. Nope. Dodge out here. Hmm. I think you do the dodge out before you do that potential one die into an uphill. Or two die into an uphill if you do the, make the dodge out and get the assist. Nope, just leave him there. Oh, he gets the one die yellow. That's nice. And a break. And a KO. So that was a good one for uh, McLean. He finally had something go his way, right? KO will work. That's at least an undead player off the pitch. So they both have zombies off now with KOs. We might see a wolf go off. Nope. He skated away. and he doesn't so the wolf's going down oh it's white on white actually nice okay some white on white action right there if that's not a non-politically correct statement I don't know what is <laughs> it's a lot of shit going on right there ooh dodges out Ooh, interesting. Well, he's got enough guys over here he can block off. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. I didn't realize all those guys down there had a free run to get up there and block off. Yeah, and then that zombie marks the other side of the wolf on the four yard line right here uh, or you can go there that's interesting choice nice double fail the dodge there he breaks himself but just a stun just a stun So let's see what the Necro will do here.
break on the skeleton, just to stun though. Bringing a zombie here to mark this guy off. I put him here on the back side. Yep. That way you can take advantage of your guard here and hit him. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting choice there. Wonder why he went that route. I may both go for it, sir. No blocks, so you blitz with him. Yep, absolutely. Hope you get it both down, our pal. You get the both down. No break, though. Oh, but then you move in there. Yep. Then you can dodge your wolves out up here. Dodge him out up here. this wolf here. Ah, oh, he'll reroll that. Yep, absolutely. There you go. Absolutely. <coughs> Instant reroll. The Necro recovered pretty good there, I think. I don't like that the Undead forced themselves to the side that quick. They could have waited another turn. Because now they've pretty much locked themselves down over here by, by Potato into this side too quick. They could have just moved up the middle a little bit and waited a little bit more. At least on the middle, you got your both sides that you can move to, right? Now you're kind of locked down. You're either slowly trying to progress forward or you try to swing everything back. Swinging back is going to be hard because the Necro have things locked down here, too. <clears throat> so the Necro may, uh, they may pull off a good defense here, unless the Undead can pull some good dice out here. Get a few things to go their way. It's the best they can get on that Mighty Blow Wolf on the ball carrier is a one die. Because he, the Necro have this guard white right there in the middle <clears throat> now I could dodge just guard white out here one two three four five six and get a guard down in there I don't really know what the good that's gonna do him though at this point still the same role no matter what. You could bring this guard into here and then do a hit here. You'd have to bring him here. No, you can't do it that way either. Um, hmm. Just going to try to do the one die on the guard. <coughs> huh. Oh, well, he's down under a minute, so he's running out of time here to think. Oh, 
he does the blitz out there. Interesting. Gets the yellow. Now I can hit him off, yep. Now he gets a one die on the wolf. Still the best he can get, and he's leaving himself where he can't really move now, unless he he could dodge out. Could dodge out here and come back over here and try to cover in the middle here. <clears throat> That's a pretty scary thought, though. Could try to dodge here. Or he could try the four plus dodges there. Oh, he failed the first dodge and makes the second. Wow. So he can get a two die hit easily on the ball carrier here. With this guy if he wants. Got a hit here. No, you hit him, and then you get a hit with him on the wrestle. I think you hit him here and hope to take him down. Yep, there you go. One, two, three, four. He takes dodge, but if you can boom here, push the guard out, you can run this guard around here. Oh, but these guys are in the way. Shit. Well, you'd almost have to push him. Oh, he goes that route instead. Hmm. Interesting choice to go that route. Then you get a hit here. That's two die. And then you dodge out here and bring him around for the assist. And you dodge out here and hit there. I think you got to take that chance right there, right? <clears throat> you dodge out here and go here for the two die to get the assist for two die. Five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, absolutely. Ah, oh, he's gonna do it that way. Yeah, that's probably better because then you blitz him and push him this way. Hope that ball bounces like out in here somewhere, or even better, you hope the ball bounces back here and then back here so you can just pick it up and take off running. Oh, he gets the pal. Don't hit him here and don't follow. Oh, and a break. Even better. Oh, he followed, though. Well, it didn't matter because he got a bad bounce. But, very nice job there. Yeah, I, I think I just leave my guys there, too. Very nicely done by the Necro. Now the undead got to pull some craziness off here. They've got a ghoul left. Two ghouls. They got two ghouls standing. They got him who's standing up and him on the ground. And. Oh, and a break on the guard, white. Oh, and he KOs him. Oh. That stinks. That's an extra KO roll. The undead should not forget about their zombie or skeleton over there, and he doesn't.
the undead have to be careful here because the necro at this point have a really good chance to get that ball knocked out and if they do they have a uh, a wolf right here they can pick it up and take off <coughs> see you could easily hit him push him on the ball and hope that ball bounces back out here Is he going to try to get through here and get to the ball somehow? Oh, got to reroll that. Doesn't get the takedown there. Does he try to get in there and get the ball? Bam, 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 bam. Nope. Smart play there smart play there <clears throat> block those guys up as much as they can so I think the first thing you got to do here is bam bam and hope to push that ball out move yeah move your guys you need to move around first mark these guys up exactly there you go now hope that ball bounces good if that ball bounces back here and then out yeah could have been worse Could have been worse. I think now you move the guard back in here. Actually move him. I would have went here and here, but that works too. I think you dodge him out and come around here for the assist and get a mark on the ball. No, he's just going to do the one die hit. Ah, oh, block, block. See, I think I would have taken the chance of dodging him to get the two dice there. Now do you try to pick it up with the wolf or the ghoul? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think you try to pick it up with the Yeah, with the Mighty Blow uh Wolf. And that's a good block off there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, he does the one die here, and he's got to waste the reroll. Oh, he had to do the reroll. Oh, it was worth it, though. Oh, but the injury comes back. Regen's good. It was almost worth it. Almost worth it. God damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So at least the 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 ghouls is at least in scoring position. So he needs a three plus dodge. Oh, he does the hit instead. Interesting. Huh. Surprised he went that route. Very surprised he didn't dodge and at least just mark the ball if nothing else. Very, very surprised by that play right there. I'm wondering what his thinking was there. Because he knows he's got to do a frenzy. Oof. Oh, and it sticks. No regen on that zombie. That's going to hurt the necro for the next half because he has no uh, bench. He's got to really hope these two un uh, KOs come back. Nice. Does he re-roll it? Nah, he doesn't re-roll that.
smart play. Yeah, I just, I really don't understand. I, I'm sitting here trying to think, and I just can't think of a reason why he would do the one die frenzy hit with no block on the um, ghoul here. Instead of just doing the three plus dodge, and if nothing else, at least marking the ball so that next turn you might have a chance to pick it up. I'm just really not sure I get that or understand that. Oh, and he fails to go for it. Got to reroll that. Now he's got to hope he can make some dodges. Or does he do the one? No, he's going to do the one die hit here first. That's the smarter play. Oh, he can't score anyway. Yeah, he can't score anyway. Oh, he fails the next go for it. Wow. Trying to get that extra assist on that wolf. All right, so let's see if there's any magic left for the Necro here to try to get this ghoul a chance to score with no rerolls. <coughs> with no rerolls. I think you blitz here and then move in to get the assist here. Blitz here, hope you get the yellow. He does. You gotta follow. Now make a go for it here. Yep. Now you got the one die here. Perfect. Now, you got to try to get a push here. One die push here. Or you could. No, you can't do that. Or you could do it that way. I totally didn't even see that. I just hadn't got to that point yet. Oh, he makes a catch. He just needs a dodge and two go for it. Oh, fail the first dodge, makes the second. It makes both go for it. Wow. Nicely done for the Necro there. <coughs> All with no reroll. Very nicely done. I think the undead, like I said, I think the undead had that half really uh, solidly locked up until he decided to to potato out on the sideline just a little bit. And I think he went a little too quick. I think he should have waited another turn before deciding to do that. Um, he only gets one out of two, but he does get the guard back for the necro. So he'll be down two guys. He'll be down to nine to start this half. And the undead coach is only down a rookie zombie. <coughs> he'll have a full roster out. But that's a huge, huge score there at the end, right? Because now he can just try to score as quick as possible, go up two to nothing, and then just try to play defense. Very, very big score for the Necro there. <laughs> now, if he can just dodge a, a crazy kickoff event here, like a Blitz or something like that. I think he'll be all right. get the ref that's an interesting one being down two players already I would not expect the necro to do any fouling here 
But the Undead, on the other hand, they've up two players. I definitely would see them doing some fouling. Now he's got two dice with both uh, flesh golems on those mummies. No takedown there. Probably push him and stay pat. Yep. There we go. Push that guard in the middle up. Ooh, a break. Oh, and a KO. That was huge for the Necro right there. Wow, that was a huge, huge hit right there. That is crazy. 11 on the armor and an 8 on the injury. Wow, what a big, big block and break and takeoff. That will definitely slow down the uh, undead here. Only having one strength five piece on the pitch now. Does he? I think he. I think you pick the ball up with a wolf here, right? You don't use your wrestle. Your wrestle ghoul, I don't think, <laughs> because it's too easy to get the ball out of a wrestler's hand. Block, you take the wrestle down. <laughs> Plus, you got extra movement with the uh, werewolf. Nope, he's gonna put it in the ghoul's hands. Gets a hit on the guard white of the undead, but no break. <laughs> yep, go over and mark him up, exactly. And now go for the pickup. And he makes the pickup. So pretty good turn there for the Necro. He'll take that all day long. Gets one of the the strength five mummies, block mummies off the pitch for the rest of this drive with the KO. That also might keep the... Nah, that ain't going to keep the undead from fouling. If he can get a chance, he's going to foul. He's still up a player, and he's got the bribe now. I mean, I think that's absolutely the best play for the undead is to... Even if it's just a zombie... If you get a chance to foul, foul. Because you want to try to get the Necro guys off as quick as possible since you already have a numbers advantage. <laughs> Just a stun there, but still that's a guy less that the Necro can move next turn. <laughs> Blitz there, no takedown. Probably use a stand firm. Yep. Didn't want that mummy to move anywhere else. Ooh, double skulls for the zombie. There goes a reroll. Reroll's good, though, and he broke, so another stun. So, reroll was definitely worth it at that point. Just putting a line up as much as he can right now. I absolutely am fouling that white right there. Yeah. I, I don't agree with not fouling there. I think you move this this ghoul here, and then you move up and you foul this white with him. It's an 8-plus hit. You got the bribe. Why not? I mean, I know he's stunned, but it's a chance to get a, a KO or a cross, and that really would put the uh, Necro at a disadvantage, losing his guard white. Yeah, the Necro are definitely going to reposition on this sideline at this point. Oh, got to use a reroll there. Oh, gets the break and the kill, though. So that that evens the pitch up now, 9-9. Nine to nine. And he doesn't regen.
So now he gets two dice there. Just to push, though. He'll follow. So another decent turn there for the uh, for the necro. They take another piece off. It's only a uh, only a uh, zombie, but he's off. And now the numbers are nine to nine. And the uh, the undead have lost the mummy, which is really bad. So the strength now has went to the uh, went to the necro for sure. A failed takedown there on that flesh column. uses the wrestle to take that flesh golem down. That freezes uh, wide up to move around. No break there. It's nice for the necro. Two dice there. He gets the yellow. Another stand firm there. Wow, that uh, that flesh golem's just standing there and sucking up hits. So, the Necro will take that turn. They were only able to get one Flesh Golem down. They didn't break nobody this time, so he'll have his full allotment to stand up and move. Gets two dice here now. And hits that tack the only tackle piece on the pitch. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Stay pat, don't follow. Yep. Huh. I think you stand the guard here up, dodge out, move him around here first, and then dodge out and blitz the guard piece for the uh, for the undead. Or you just blitz it that way and knock out the zombie. So now the undead actually have numbers. Move him here. Move him around. Yep. Move him over to here somewhere. <laughs> well, you could still get out here. Yeah. Because you could still get out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Could get all the way to there if he made his dodges right. I think he follows. <coughs> right. Keep both of these guys locked up. Get away from him. Another great turn for the Necro. The Necro just each turn taking one guy off and just slowly getting those numbers back in their favor. <coughs> and again... The undead just cannot knock these flesh golems down, and it's really, really hurting them. Because that stand firm is just staying in place.
Oh, and he double fails. Oh, and he injures himself. Wow. Double fails to dodge with a wrestle ghoul and injures himself. That might have just pretty much sealed it for the uh, necro. That might have just sealed it for him. <clears throat> that was a huge, huge fail there. Huge, huge fail. He'll take down there, but he'll get hits with the other, uh, with the other werewolf. Has a, oh, double turnover. Oof. And he breaks himself. Well, that will slow him down a little bit. Luckily, he's still covered up enough over here, I think, that he can't be hurt too badly here. <laughs> but that's enough to, to slow you down a little bit. Huh, so what does he do now? What do you do now? Do you do the one die hit on this wolf and try to push him out? And then do some dodges here? Just gonna get over here and get the two die hit on him. Smart play. You at least get the hit on the mighty blow wolf, even though you don't break him. What does he do here, though? Oh, he's gonna do the blitz on the guard piece here. One die push. Doesn't follow, and then he'll follow in this way. Boom, boom. Yep. Okay. Not bad, not bad. And then you just leave your other guys alone and let them suck the hits up. him here no boom boom or do you come back down here is that the garter that's not the garter come back here with the assist and hit him in and 
if you get the yellow, you have the assist to hit him there. Or do you just stay packed? Now, you don't stay packed because he could jump back up. I think you come over here for the assist. Well, he's going to play it super safe. Probably a smarter play not to do the hits because if you turn over, you're screwed. You just had a double turnover last turn on block dice. You don't really have to score another touchdown at this point. You just want to lock up the win. That guy marked up and locked down. Not a bad play. Gets the ball out at least. Not a bad play. And that was the problem with not doing what uh what I had suggested. Yes, you don't do the hits, which is a safer hit, safer play. Uh oh. Doesn't break himself though. But if you would have done that, you hit these guys down and you don't they don't get the chance to do the one die at that point. Right? Now, the safer play was to do it like the Necro coach did, to make him make the rolls and be safe with it. <clears throat> that was definitely the smarter play, for sure. Oh, Jesus. These dice from these wolves are just pit pitiful, man. Absolutely pitiful. Wow. Do this hit with block first. Move this guy into here. I wouldn't have done the pickup yet. I would have waited on that just in case I failed it. Bring the guard here. Yeah, push him up here. Oof. Well, eh, that works too. Yeah, actually that's better, because then to get out here, he's got to make more dodges. Here, he could have just made two dodges to get out. Oh, another dead zombie. That fails regen. Man, the deaths are heavy in this match. <laughs> Necro definitely have the numbers now. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the pitch. Necro got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. And again, he still can't get that stand firm down. Just having the worst time getting that those flesh columns down with the stand firm.
Noizar has connected. Undead are having to get risky now. They're just resorting to the one dies to try to get something to happen here. Because they're just running out of time. The Throbbit has connected. just have to keep this ball away from them for two more turns. <laughs> they want to score it if they can to get the, the help the tiebreakers, but they uh, <clears throat> um, they don't absolutely have to score. So you can get two dice here. You can get two dice there. I take the both down. Yep. Now I move these zombies in to get your help all over the place. <coughs> um. Problem is that doesn't give you two dice. Oh, I guess you could. No, eh, can't do that either. Move him to here. So now you hit him up here. Oh, that's a good that's a good play actually. Boom, boom, push him out. Or you could do it that way too. Yep, because now you can hit him. <coughs> then you can run on up here. You got your hit there on the tackle piece. I do the run out first because that way you can push the tackle back in here and lock him down. So he can't be doing no crazy dodging or nothing. And then you can do your hit with your wolves and try to take him off. And if you do, no, don't do that hit first. Ugh. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if you fail, right? If if you fail, you at least got your guy blocked up. He didn't fail, so it didn't matter. And a break and a KO. So this half went just about as perfect as the Necro could hope, short of the, the block dice that he turned over on quite a bit. Um, each turn, he pretty much took a guy off, an undead dead guy off the pitch, and that really just pretty much gave him this half. Really wasn't a whole lot the undead could do on that one. <coughs> I go ahead and move him here. Lock him down. Do your hit there. Move him out. Move him out first, then do your hit there. So I don't like moving there, because then he can... Well, he, he's still locked down there, but... Yeah, actually, I think that is the, probably the better move, to be honest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I still go up one more. So you don't have to make a go for it on your last turn. There you go. <coughs> With no reroads, you don't even want to take that chance. Plus it gets the ball further up field. Surprised he didn't do that hit there though. Oh, it wasn't a two die, it was just a one die. That's why. Well, you don't have a whole lot of choice here. He's got to go all out, all or nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> so 
So he's got a dodge three plus here. Go for it. Uh, four plus dodge. Go for it to hit on a one die. Hope he gets the take out and the ball pops. He failed, double failed the dodge there anyway, so it didn't matter. So don't even do any hits, just score and you lock the game up. Doesn't even matter if he does it one turn. Yep. There you go. Good game for the Necro. At worst, they pull a 2 1 win. That's if somehow the undead can figure out how to do a one turn store, score. Or they roll the clock back. Three out of four KOs come back. And the Necro's KO comes back. So the Necro will have 10 on the pitch now. <coughs> Gets both stand firmers up on the line. Yep. So they can't push around for the for the um, the one turn there. Put both guys there. Yep. And move all your other guys back. I like putting my five guys across here. You can put five across here and make it to where you have to dodge through tackle zones the whole way. You go one, two, three, four, five. So that way there's tackle zones across the, the whole field. But he's not going to, I mean, it, doing a one turn doesn't really help him in any way. Besides just stopping the 2-0 the loss, it'd be a 2-1 loss instead. So it helps your, your touchdown difference for tie, potential tiebreakers. But... <laughs> So, this will definitely help uh, the Goblin team out, and it will hurt the Rebel team a little bit. That'll give Goblin a 2-0-2 record here, so that'll move him up into the 30s. Probably give him plus 20 at least. Um, this is the better of the two Rebel teams, so it's going to slow him down a little bit. So he'll go from 57th down to probably the 60s, maybe even the 70s. Rebel 1, so he'll go down, yeah, he'll go down into the 150s at least. And then we'll move up uh, plus 20, we'll go up to around 160 or better. So we might get to the one back into the top 10 potentially. And they'll fall out potentially of the top 10. DETOX86 joined your channel. Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Good. That second half went about as good as you could have hoped. Taking a piece off every turn. Yeah. Slowly yeah, even the cool. numbers up and then get slowly got advantage. Yeah, then I just sold it out. Yeah. Those wolves were having a hard time hitting, though. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got pretty scared to even throw block dice with them uh, yeah I know half. shit I know what you're saying I think the the whole game turned because he decided to to go around the edge and potato out too too, too quick I think he should have waited at least another turn because yep. once he went on that sideline it allowed you to easily block him up and then block oh wow oh well, he's, well it's the only way he yeah. can do it yeah. Pass, pass a, with that defense, you have to pass a six plus dodge. Yeah. So. Well, I and mean, it doesn't even matter if he gets. It. The only thing it does is it helps tiebreakers out just a little bit. But, but yeah, when he when he did that, I think he should have waited one more turn. Right, because he had numbers advantage on you at that point. Yeah, he had the advantage, and he pushed it a little too fast. Too quick, right? Because it allowed you to lock that side down, and you had enough guys right there behind that he couldn't reliably get back around and switch the field around. So I, I I like staying in the middle there another turn at least because he could have moved up at least a couple of squares in the middle 
and he still had what two or three turns left after that. I just I think he did it one one at least one turn too quick, and I think that was what turned the whole game around. Well, that and I made a <laughs> three plus three plus. Yeah, but those plus. I mean, most of those rolls you made were the percentages were in your favor to make them. Yeah, no. You no know, it, you could have easily not made them. But they were definitely not as risky well, as, as expected, right? Because they're in your favor. Uh, I the way that first half was going, cause yeah, it wasn't any of his. It wasn't any mummies, or it was rookie zombies. Like yeah, rookie zombies. Breaking. One block breaks armor. Yeah, rookie zombie KOs a guy. It's like well, yeah, this is crap. I, I'll tell you the other thing that really helped you in the second half. He could not get your stand firm golems down to save his life. No, he could not. Those one mummy pushed yeah. him like five turns in a row. Yeah, he that could not do those guys, go- especially that one turn when he had like three hits on that one, and and all three of them didn't take him down, and he just kept sucking up hit after hit after hit. That had to be so frustrating for him. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it, overall, I think a lot of that stuff balances stuff out because my wolves were. I mean, I think I got one, one. Maybe two takeoffs with them, but for the most part, yeah. all they did was eat rerolls and turn over. Yeah. Well, you had the you had one death with one where you killed the zombie. Yeah. That didn't regen. And then. I think I might have had a KO in the first half on one of them. Yeah, I can't remember in the first, but uh, definitely, definitely a good game. Turn your fortunes around a little bit, anyway. Now I got us back up to the top ten. Well, so the difference huh. between that game and the game before was, like he, like you said, he potatoed out. I had, on that turn, to set up my defense, I had to make two three-plus dodges. And yeah. one of them I had the dodge skill. And my game prior to this, there's no way in hell I would have passed that. Yeah. Like, it was going to be a fail-fail. Like, the wolf was going to fail the dodge, and you reroll it, and you fail again. <laughs> the, the guy you just played, the team he's on, is one point ahead of us. I think that's the second guy I've played from that team. Yeah, did you, you played the Sage, didn't you? Which one? Did you play Sage, or was that McLean that played Sage? I played Sage. Yeah, he, that he's was the Dark Elf game where he yep. could do literally no wrong. He's on that team, so that is the second one he played. And I played another Rebel one that was Ogres, but I think they have two teams. In yeah, this. that was on the other team, I believe. Um, Rebel. Yeah, that was on the other team. Soul of Dragonfire. Yep, that's right. So that moved him down to 61st, and that moved you up to 24th. At two and two? Yep, two on two. Wow. I'm one, one, and two, and I'm in 46. Now, there's still a lot of games to be played, and so that would change. As people win and lose, you'll you'll fluctuate up and down a little bit. But you'll probably be in the mid-20s when it's all said and done. But right now, currently as it stands, we just moved back into the top ten. One point out of ninth, six points out of no seven points out of eighth, and nine points out of seventh. So you're one, one and two, and I'm two zero oh, and two. What's McLean at? Two zero oh, and one. And he's got his game coming up Sunday. And how's Oni doing? Uh, one zero oh, and two. Me, you, and Oni were all 1-0-2. Oh, uh, Oni plays... No, I was... Uh... Oni plays some Wood Elves. It's a Wood Elf Mirror match. And McLean plays uh, Dwarves. The worst matchup oh, he could ask for. Yeah. Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Lo, there do I see the line of my My people. people. Back to the beginning. Lo, they do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, 